I have too much clothes and I need to get rid of it. <clears throat> so I have been accumulating an excessive amount of clothes in my room for the past few months and it is causing me a lot of stress. I have clothes in my closet, on my clothing rack, in my dresser, underneath my bed. I also have random piles of clothes lying around my room. And to make it worse, I recently impulsively bought a new wardrobe that I need to make space for. So my point is, I have no sense of organization and in today's this video, I'm going to be letting go of the emotional attachment that I have to my clothes and basically getting rid of everything. We're going to be tackling this huge closet filled with clothes that I forgot existed. A lot of it is mainly in there because I'm very emotionally attached to it. So basically my goal for this closet today is to make enough space to let this closet breathe. It is so tight in here, like you can't move anything around and I want to get rid of at least half the things that are in here. So yeah, let's get into it. As for the clothes that is in this closet, I was mainly planning on either keeping it or giving it away. A lot of the clothes in here is super old, so I wanted to keep it real with myself and I decided to ask myself the following questions before allowing myself to keep something. First, do I wear this often? Like, what even is this? Goodbye. Second, is it comfortable or does it fit well? Do you guys remember the fuzzy jacket trend from like last year? I still have all my jackets and I low-key kind of miss them. It is time to let go. And third, does it make me happy or do I get excited to wear it? My prom dress. I kind of want to be that mom that passes down her prom dress to her daughter. This one's a tough one. This side is a lot fuller than the other, so it is gonna take me a lot longer to get through. And I'm honestly not ready for this, but we'll get through it. So after having asked myself those three questions for each piece of clothing in my closet, this happened. I know, it's scary. Guys, I just finished going through the whole closet and you're not gonna believe how much clothes I'm getting rid of. It's scary. Are you ready? Yup, that was stored inside of my closet. I don't know how. Um, This whole pile of clothes is just taking up the whole bed. It's really bad. I'm honestly most likely going to just give all of it away. Okay, so I have been staring at this pile of clothes in fear for the past 10 minutes and I have decided that I'm just going to be giving all of it away because one, it would take way too much effort to try and sell all of this. Two, a lot of this isn't even cute enough to sell. I don't mind just giving it away, honestly. All of this is going to get donated. Also, I'm pretty sure that there's still a lot of things in that that closet that I could get rid of so I'm probably gonna go in and look through it again yeah we'll see we'll see So at this point, I was starting to realize that this process was taking me a lot longer than I expected. And not gonna lie, I was starting to regret my life decisions. But if you're still watching this, go clean out your closet. This is your sign. Do it. I finally finished with the closet and I was able to fill up this entire trash bag with just a bunch of clothes that I'm going to be giving away. And those are all the hangers that I took clothes off of. So I think we're making pretty good progress. Okay, so I have this very, very, very voluptuous, big, thick, juicy bag filled with clothes that I've been accumulating for the past few months. It's gotten very scary looking. I'm honestly pretty scared to take it out because it's overflowing in clothes. I have a problem. Its presence is just making me anxious, so let's get into it. This is so bad! Okay, it doesn't even look that dramatic on camera, but guys, this bag is huge. And to make it worse, this isn't everything. Oh my god. This is literally gonna take me all day. Anyways, we don't got time to waste. Okay, so this is going to be my sell pile, my keep pile, and then my giveaway pile. So my game plan for this massive bag of clothing was to put it into piles of stuff that I'm going to be donating, selling, and keeping. 
The clothes that I was putting onto my cell pile had to be in a lot newer condition, obviously with little to no flaws, and this is going to be the clothes that I'm going to be listing on my Depop. Then of course I have my donate pile, which kind of has to meet the same criteria as the clothes that I was taking out of my closet. It has to be on the older side, and this was also the pile of clothes that I was planning on donating to my local thrift store, and also my family and friends if they wanted anything. And then of course we have the keep pile, which is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so I just finished organizing my clothes into piles. That literally took me so long. This looks a lot better than it did before. Can we get a round of applause? Also, let's take a moment to appreciate the fuzzy socks. Not gonna lie, as I was filming this video, I was creating a bigger and bigger mess on my floor throughout the day. Of course, I had to take some breaks to kind of clean that up and control the mess. So this now brings us to my dresser, which I may or may not have fully stuffed with a bunch of clothes that I seriously need to get rid of. Literally, if I attempt to open one of these, it just opens the rest of them because it's full of clothes. In this dresser, I mainly have like my go-to stuff that I use on a daily basis. And a lot of this clothes I keep telling myself I need, but in reality, I don't. I'm just emotionally attached. Honestly, my goal with this dresser is to basically organize it as much as possible and also just declutter it and get rid of as much stuff as possible so that I can actually open these without struggling. So let's dive in. So because I normally shove my clothes into this dresser, it makes it really hard to organize. So I decided to take everything out and refold it and kind of make it so that it had some kind of sense of organization. I don't know how to explain what I'm doing, but you can see me doing it here. Okay, so we have made some progress and I can officially open some of these drawers without struggling. But I do still have these two bottom drawers that are basically overfilled with a bunch of jeans that I seriously need to sort through and get rid of. Okay, so I just finished organizing and decluttering the dresser. But this is now the aftermath of everything I'm planning on getting rid of. Yeah, I managed to clean out that dresser pretty well. I didn't realize how much clothes I had in there that I didn't need. Okay, so now that I have cleaned out most of the clothes that I had in my room, I still have a lot of clothes that I know deep down inside I could still get rid of. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a lot of the clothes that I claimed I wanted to keep and to test myself, I'm going to be putting it onto this clothing rack, trying it on, and making sure it fits my criteria for the clothes that I want to keep. We are going to be starting off with the tops. I low-key kind of got bored of the sweater vest trend. It was never really my thing, honestly. I only ever got these to kind of like see what they would look like on me. I am obsessed with this top. I will not be getting rid of this. Uh, I could have swore I needed this top in my closet, but now that I'm wearing it, when am I gonna need a red basic top? Tell me, it has nothing to offer. This top gives me major grandma vibes. I cannot get rid of this. This is too cute. Oh, not gonna lie. This was one of the tops that I forgot existed, but now that I have it on, I kind of want to start wearing her again. I've actually been wearing this top a lot recently. I don't think you guys understand my obsession for halter tops. I own so many. I keep telling myself that one day I'm going to and I'm going to sunbathe in my halter tops. Literally, I'm saving all of my halter tops. I'm not giving these away. Okay, I'm probably not even gonna try these on because I literally wore this once and then never touched it again. So selling, I've worn it a few times, but not enough. I only got this because it was trendy and then I got bored of it. I feel like it's the same piece, I should be on it, so uh, I'll be okay. This is one of the tops that I am emotionally attached to. Okay. okay. 
that was pretty much it for today's video. This was such a long process. I'm honestly surprised that I was able to fully deep clean my room within just one day because not gonna lie, I had this feeling that this was going to end up taking me days to get through. But I'm pretty proud of the fact that I got it done in one day. This was a lot of work, so make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss an upload. My room is a huge mess now and I have to clean it now and it's so annoying, but yeah, I'm super tired. Literally sweating. That is it. Love you guys very much and bye.